Goatman. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another beautiful day on the Hermitcraft server. And I just flew by uh, our yeah resistance headquarter here. Uh, I wanted to buy some rockets with my measly diamonds. I'm so poor, man. And I saw the door was hacked in. That is a bad sign. Also, here is a dirt block. What is going on? Did we have intruders? Oh my god, here. Oh. We might actually have had intruders. This is... Uh-oh. <gasps> oh snap. The trap triggered. What happened? Was it them? What the heck's going on there? Why is half of the pigs up there? No! No, there's one of the freaking netherrack blocks. Freaking budget cuts! No! Too poor to afford scaffolding. And then when I was breaking it out, I left this block in there. You can see the piston is moving. It would have triggered. Oh my god, I think this triggered. Wait. Is something missing? Wait, it's our... Oh, this is all our mycelium supplies. Oh my god, did green trigger this? Please, please no. Oh... Oh, that's so disappointing that it didn't fully trigger, though. Whoever triggered it. Oh, my God. Oh, this is what you get from the freaking budget cuts. We need to change this, guys. We are so poor. <sighs> Dang it. But something happened here. I need to find out what. All right. Who's on? Ooh, full house. <laughs> All right. I guess it's time for a meeting. What the? <laughs> What's going on? What is happening now? <laughs> um, What's going on? Dark? <laughs> What's this? Um... <laughs> Um, uh, I hit the emergency button. Did you guys trigger the trap? Uh-oh. Uh, Doc, uh, you're not a traitor, are you? Wait. No! Oh, wait, are you, are you an imposter? No! We should have voted him up, boys. We should have voted him out. The, the Is trap. not the real goat man? The, wait. <laughs> Got, hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Hi. Hello? Does anybody know what's going on here? Um, um, I I, I, I have my sus us. I have some <laughs> suspicions. Hello, is that is that Scar? I have some suspicions oh. too. Oh, oh my, my god! What is going on? <laughs> Hello there, gentlemen. Um, Beat up sent me a message, and I had no idea what was going on. I don't even have my moccasins on for the day, and then I've come in here and I find you all in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and look at this. There's this switch, and it pours oh, lava oh, on you guys. No, Scott. No, 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 no. no. no, no, no. It's Just kidding. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> 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 oh, it's going it's down again. No, 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 no. Oh, are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Scar. No, I got it. It's fine. Oh, this is obsidian. Who's the clutch for ten diamonds each? Ren, you're so clutch with the dirt. So oh, how are we all doing in that. there? How are we, how are we all real good? Fire. Can we not just leave? No, 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 no. Oh, thank you. Um, you guys are all in prison now for great crimes against Hermitcraft, spreading spores. You couldn't look like more of the bad guy right now. You got a monocle and you're, you've put us in jail. <laughs> it's solid gold. <laughs> no, I'm the good guy. I mean, we, we, we may look sometimes like the bad guy. I mean, we have death lasers and stuff, but it's all for the greater good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's I have a puppy. Do you want to see That's the puppy dogs? Every bad guy thinks. No, I have puppy good. dogs for every one of you if you need them. 
I mean, that looks like a juicy target over there. I think I might just take this. See, the thing out. is, I can just go like this. Because, <laughs> I mean, how did you. And then I can also this, do dude? this. No, no, no. Scott, 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 Scott. No, no more lava. No more lava. Can we fly out of here? Nope. Oh, nope. It's obsidian. No. Look. Mm. <laughs> Great. Should we just leave? Well, I mean, we I can just leave. We just, just do this. Right. No, no, no. This is a solid. This is this is a solid jail. This His is a face lockdown. Is in the way, Ren. I can't go. Get... <laughs> Past his beautiful face. Can oh, you ex? Okay. Did you do what I think you did? Have you hijacked our emergency meeting? Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. B Dub B Dub set this all up, and uh, basically, yeah. I've called you all here for a meeting. Right. Uh huh. To uh -huh. say that we won. So, I will just lower the lava on you guys. No, 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 yeah, yeah, well, I, I, I got teleported away. Well, yeah, got you guys. Okay, all right, continue. I'm in uh, shock. Where did you get teleported to? Well, um, I've got trees to chop down, boys. I mean, this is fun and all, but like, what do we, what do we do now? Well, according to Scar, we don't get out of here. No, you're all in jail. For what? All right. Um, uh, spreading allergies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, those mushrooms up there, they're causing a lot of sneezing, a little bit of runny eyes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, that's, you know, Scott, we should maybe time out, take this, take this somewhere else and we'll we'll chat about this, negotiate, parlay. Sh should we meet up in the llama? Mm -hmm. The giant llama? <laughs> the yes. crimes against Hep? The llama? Yes. Okay, we'll meet up in the llama. All right. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'll just right. kill you guys out of there. Hold on. I'm just gonna... Dad, I think you've been. I think you've been out Minecraft. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, hey, stand here so they can't pearl out. Oh, <laughs> Etho! Of course, <laughs> of course, Etho. <laughs> Dang it! Woo! I can't get out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm still in shock. Ethel, stop oh, it! Oh no! <laughs> oh! I'm out! Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> it's not. It's Ethel. Yes! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get out, XP? <laughs> <laughs> he went for the obsidian. There was one right next to it. <laughs> oh, that's smart. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Problem solved. Well, okay, you got one up on us there. That's, yeah. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. Uh, there's Did a raid it? going on. Oh, what? What? Around here? Yeah. Oh, Does that's not good, see? is it? You see the raid bar? I have nothing to yeah. do with this. Nothing at all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. Oh, my. It's not Did you start a raid. I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> Budget cuts. Punishment scar? Budget cuts. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I can take credit for this one. Oh, man. <laughs> We're gonna have to band together to beat this raid now. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, one left. Where is it? It might be in I false's got shot. Him. Oh, oh you is. got him. Okay. Dead. Where'd Woo. the Ravager go? Last I saw it, it chased somebody yeah. away. Yeah. 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 We did it! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Teamwork! <laughs> Look at how many heroes the villagers awesome. just got given out. Where's That's the villagers? Fine. Throw stuff at did it. Did it really take a pillager raid to bring us all together? <laughs> <laughs> it did! <laughs> Don't take too much credit for that. Oh. Alright. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll, I'll take the credit for that one, man. Thank you, guys. Um... <laughs> All right. Um, There's still back. So, um, wait, where were we before we were interrupted by fighting a raid for the last 20 I'm minutes? I'm pretty sure we, you guys we were in jail for causing oh, allergies. Ah, oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, I think that was that was pretty much it. Right, I right, think B that face suits you That's so right. Better, Scott. Grumpy old mayor. <laughs> Grumpy old mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do have like a necklace on. It looks kind of sweet. It's a gold <laughs> chain. <laughs> you look like the dungeon's bad guy. <laughs> I'm not the bad guy. <laughs> I'm turning the laser off with that help. I think we can both agree that this turf war has gone on too long and I don't actually see 
The end. I disagree. Oh yeah, you Shushy. got here. Okay. <laughs> You're a warmonger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we want peace here. And we're sharing the chair, right? Yeah, we, we are sharing peace. the chair. Mm -hmm. um, but I do feel like we need to decide who wins and who loses. Well, um, we have the laser beam, and that means we're automatically winners. Uh, that, that's not right? what I meant. Somebody like, back last, me up. I don't think it last season, Dang we it. did a giant civil war. We did like a big PvP capture the flag thing, and... I don't want to do that again. I want to do something slightly differently. So I have oh, actually. Oh, thank been... you. Oh, <laughs> I, was, I was getting excited. I'm really glad we're uh, not doing PvP. <laughs> Me too. I were literally well, had I, goosebumps I... just now, but all right. <laughs> I was looking forward to some PvP. I was well. I was thinking we settle this like real human beings mm -hmm. through sports. Mm. What if we yes. like made some mini games? Like each team made mini games. I've been thinking about this. It's been brewing for a while. You see, we each make mini games. And then we have a few rules surrounding it that we can work out later. But the the winner of the most mini games, who gets the most points, wins the war. Bingo, bango. And we'll probably, like, I don't know, what are the consequences here? Consequences, the loser has to restore the island. Hmm. we got to sweeten that, but we don't have to think about it quite yet. There's got to be more to it. There's got to be more good, to that winning Good, good, Scar. Be firm. Good. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm doing good over here. Look at me. I'm You're doing great. Yeah. Election, Stay strong. You? Yes. I'm staying strong for Hep. That's right. Mm -hmm. We're good. Kind of outnumbered here. It's kind of yes. a yes. point out. I play a lot of Minecraft and not sports. So. Not <laughs> well, then sure they're Minecraft sports. It's Minecraft sports. Yeah. We've got some logistics to work out, but if you agree to it, we can have a mini game showdown to decide who the winner of this war is. I agree to it. And I think that is a good idea. I think that'll be a fun thing we can do. We can all build our games, and then uh, we can all congratulate Hep when we win. So be and if you, lose, if you lose, Scott, I want you to help me build my base. <laughs> the backside? <laughs> Wait, the back. what? Specifically the back. <laughs> okay. All the Hep mem or all the mycelium resistance members just looked at each other like, what? <laughs> we get out of this? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Is this what the what the ride's been all about, Green? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get your face done. The back of your mansion? No, yeah. I don't want to say there was a master plan, but Scott, if you lose, seriously, the back of the mansion, it really needs some attention. I almost would do it voluntarily, <laughs> to be honest with you. There is a cliff there that is, is surely needing some terraforming. So, okay. That's a lot of work. <laughs> all right. So, mini games it is then, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Sounds good to me. All right. I'm in. No, All right, you fools, get out of our tower. But okay. No, but nobody said the mini games can't be lethal, right? Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go nuts. Okay. Nice. Right. Uh, can oh, somebody no. borrow me some rockets? I, I'm poor. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> Budget cuts, Doc. Budget ducks. Budget cuts, cuts sorry, man. Dude. Here's another totem, Doc, just in case. Thank you. <laughs> Well, that surely didn't go as planned. Oh, man. Yeah, they came in here and stole the ender pearls. That is mental. How the heck did they do that? Wait, I need to investigate. This is crazy. Oh, man, also we really need to do something about these budget cuts. Yeah, that is... I need to devise a plan to get rich. But it ain't that easy. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, we have certain limitations this season, right? I said I'm not gonna mine diamond. So we need to find a way around that. Maybe find something that mines him diamonds for us. Oh, wow. Okay, he literally... He napped the pearls from below and then water funneled them away into the prison. Are you... Wow, okay. <laughs> wow, okay, that was a galaxy brain move. What? Okay, I mean, you know, the idea was we create a circle of death in here with uh, the mass amount of mobs running around preventing anybody to do anything. But uh, yeah, with losing 12, pretty much the main army here of our Soglins, 
that was of course less efficient. They probably were able to kill off the ray or the, the defenses here rather quickly. No oh, man. But on the other hand, it's kind of cool. <laughs> we have mini games now. Hmm. So mini game war it is. I guess every team member or as many team members as want build mini games. Most likely it's gonna be maybe three or four per team. And then we have a kind of an Olympics to decide the winner. I mean that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> um, now I'm thinking, you know, in the spirit of budget cuts, um, if we somehow can reuse those Soglins for a cool mini game. Hmm. Off to the goat cave. I need to start thinking. Well guys, if you think about it carefully, let's use our galaxy brains too. As <laughs> we got galaxy brained by beat-ups by transporting the ender pearls. That was a feat. Uh, respect, respect, I have to say. So, well, what was the problem? We had a time frame of roughly a week when we got called in with the GOAT signal. And in this one week we had to come up with an idea for the traps, squeeze it in somehow in an already existing build, catch all the mobs that were required for the trap, which took really really long time, trigger the raid and catch the evokers and transport all these soglins from the nether. That took a lot of time and now is the issue. Without having any diamonds, I had to grind everything we needed for the build myself. Including a lot of concrete and, you know, slime, redstone, craft components. So I spent a whole lot of time literally crafting and grinding. And that is surely not goat worthy. I mean, we cannot even face the goat mother at the moment. She is rightfully mad at us. So, we need to come up with a plan to somehow circumvent our self-inflicted issue that we cannot mine diamonds by hand this season, right? So here's the master plan. We need to build a diamond mining machine. Then, we can expose the diamonds with them. And then, we silk touch the ore and, you know, we're not mining diamonds technically. Then we just need to come up with a clever way to get the most diamonds out of the ores we got. Maybe we can strike a deal with another hermit. But we will see. But yeah, we need a mining machine. So let's devise a plan here. Over there is the goat cave and here we can see beat up this branch mining setup, which is quite extensive. It's got a lot going on. Ours is these few tunnels there. Uh, as I said, yeah, we didn't really mine for diamonds. We just uh, pretty much uh, yeah, mined out a bit of redstone here and so on. But yeah, so far no diamond mining, as you know. So, um, well, we need a big tunnel bore project to make us rich. And we need to find a channel to dig through that has nothing in the way and also could be lucrative. So here is parts of B-Dubs' branch mine he no longer uses. He digs back there at his new place now. And obviously this site is abandoned now. As you know, Kerales bought the house and moved out. So technically, um, we could use this area here already existing around B-Dubs' branch mine to set up the tunnel bore. And then we just drive it this way and it's a pretty big uh, project we plan here a gigantic diamond mining machine and we just cruise along here mine through and then you know keep on cruising here um, it looks as good terrain ahead and nothing of beat ups in the way initially and we can mine hundreds and hundreds of blocks along this axis here and keep on going and going and going and going 
um, over there is where B Dubs um, has uh, you know his his new mine now with a beacon and he's beacon speed mining down here. So we shouldn't run into that. And if we do well, <laughs> we'll we'll find a deal. You know, maybe we can then give him some of our diamonds uh, as reparation. Um, but that is the plan. So first of all, I need to connect the goat cave to um, our new and improved. Uh, <laughs> mining operation down here and then I need to build a machine that digs out the yeah room for the machine we need to build to dig out more room yeah wow look at that I'm getting I'm literally getting trash talked for being so poor you know you could be richer you're a very poor dog I needed some sea lanterns and also needed to spend some of my last diamonds on slime and now we are down to a measly five this is our whole capital five diamonds but in this chest are the contents for the start of making us the richest hermit by far we will be so rich we will live in a diamond house oh yeah so if we do it right and I talked about this project with Il Mango like a month ago, uh, back in July, I think. Um, but if we do it right, we should be able to set a relatively simple um, gold farming operation up that delivers us roughly 200 diamond ore blocks per hour. And that would quickly catapult us to the top. But first things first, to build the big machine, which is roughly about 100 and 20 blocks long or so, we need a smaller tunnel bore to dig out the place where we will build the big tunnel bore. The big tunnel bore will go in this direction, right, as we scoped out, all the way towards back there. Um, but the small tunnel bore has to run this way, because, yeah, we need to clear the space so we can build the big boy. And, yeah, I surely don't want to dig this out by hand, because digging out this by hand, and poor as we are, we cannot even afford enough to make a beacon. Uh, that took already long enough. This budget cuts, man, is really, really cutting into my um, enjoyment here. So we need to change that quickly. All right. So now it's time to set up phase one, the baby boar. Okay, I slept the night now and I double and triple checked everything and think, yeah, the mini boar or the baby boar should be ready to go. So there is a delay circuit here that uh, slows the machine down. That is that little flying machine bit back here. And uh, we control the machine by sitting in this minecart and rolling over. <clears throat> if we do that, the machine will self-assemble. It is not fully assembled yet. What we need to do is put in um, the TNT in the duper spots. That is right here in front of the dead coral. So six TNT in total. That is four. And honestly, I'm really nervous because it's always extremely scary if you build a complex uh, redstone machine uh, a lot of things can go wrong and yeah now our first thing is we need to get into the setup and uh, yeah make sure uh, it properly self assembles and launches a TNT or two and then we stop the machine again and double check if everything is all right and nothing blew up <laughs> hopefully and yeah the distance here in front of the machine is roughly 
10, 11 blocks or so, that should be enough of clearance that when the machine moves, the TNT, you know, doesn't get too close to the machine and actually blows ourselves up. Also, the machine uh, is equipped with as much light as possible. That was a key requirement for the design when <coughs> um, I talked to Mango about it. And yeah, because, well, we don't have a mob switch, so having mobs is the biggest issue. So we have to stop the machine quite frequently and replenish torches. Um, hopefully we can also blast out some diamonds um, on our way. I will not silk touch them, but if you blow up some, some diamond ore, that would be great. So, I guess, uh, yeah, let's sit into the machine um, and activate it. Uh, here goes nothing, I would say. All right, let's do this. Um, I'm so nervous. Fingers crossed. Okay, that was the se self-assembling move. We have TNT prepared. Yes! Okay, this is looking very good. Okay. Machine self-assembled. And... I think we are rolling. Yes. Beautiful. Ah. <laughs> ah. Low budget. Yeah. Give me some time and I build epic stuff. Man, we're gonna be rich. Okay, now let's uh, try the stopping functionality by rolling over with the minecart. And we came to an halt. Beautiful, beautiful, yes, oh, there's an emerald back there, okay, we just need to watch a bit, you know, if we see some diamonds uh, or so, then we stop the machine and pick up uh, the diamonds before we blow the items up on the ground, but it seems we are going good. Now what I need to do is um, stock up with a lot of torches so I can also always stop the machine, follow the machine and torch spam the place right behind it. Um, so we make sure we don't get no crazy mob spawning because that is our worst case scenario. Um, you know, if um, we would get creepers um, to spawn and then walk below the machine, get too close to us, blow up and cause a disaster. So as, as soon as we see a creeper or so spawning on us, we need to bail and get the heck out of there. Um, I once had a very unfortunate in incident with a smaller tunnel bore and rebuilding this uh, would be a pain in the butt. It took uh, quite long. So yeah, I would say we kick it in gear and ride the dragon a bit more and um, yeah, I have a few more, um, um, yeah, a few more uh, torches to make. Well, I ran the machine now for about five minutes or so and look at the massive amount of um, yeah, progress we made already. It took me without beacon and maximum tools at least, I don't know, two hours to dig out this hole here. Within five minutes we more than doubled our size here already with this machine and it's running flawlessly. I blew up one diamond ore I saw I couldn't stop the machine properly. So yeah, it might be a bit of a gamble if we are able to stop this bad boy in time. Um, but yeah, because you know, if you go for a real diamond um, um, or, or yeah, diamond mining machine, you want to go um, always per layer, trigger it once, and then progress a bit, and uh, yeah, keep on going like that. Here, this machine normally, if I want to stop it, it might launch another round of TNT, and um, that yeah, just blew up the diamonds we saw there, but yeah, you know, this is not really the mining operation for the diamonds, this is more the mining operation for the diamond mining machine. So yeah, stop. Um, yeah, having mobs is a huge problem. Look, we have the overhangs, of course, uh, we could have creepers jumping down on us at any time, uh, like the zombie just did, and uh, obviously that's not ideal. Um, but uh, yeah, this is what we gotta live with. If we had a mob switch, uh, we would definitely activate that whenever you're drilling in Minecraft and tunnel boring. 
it's highly recommended to have a mob switch. Um, so maybe, you know, next season we can have one and we can do bigger drilling projects because this is kind of what was holding me back a little bit of drilling. And um, actually me and Iska suggested if we don't want to install a mob switch um, this season, which would be a cool project, but it was uh, objected. Uh, this time around by the group, you know, we just talk about these things then and say, hey, I have a suggestion. And the reason was, I think uh, people said it might be a bit of an issue if it's on and off and you never know what's going on. And they were a bit insecure about it. But I think it was mostly because they yeah, were not fully, um, you know, aware of how mob switches work today and that you can do it really simple. And I would, of course, do it in a way that uh, players always know, hey, at the moment, Mob switching is, um, you know, off. Oh, this is bad. Being shot up there on the on the minecart. The skeleton now bumped the machine. That's not good. That's a creeper. And that was in extremely bad. Exactly what I was just talking about happened. This, of course, is now extremely annoying. Now we have to go ahead and rebuild the machine. And normally that means a rebuild from scratch. Because, yeah, now um, stuff blew up. Parts of the TNT dupers, I think, got taken out. And I'm not quite sure if it can be easily assembled like that. So yeah, with that said, guys, I might have to pick a time when there is more players on to be able to keep on drilling here. That was a bit of a downer that it just blew up now. Ah, oh. oh, but okay, I built the machine once uh, safe and securely. I can build it again. Uh, should be no problem. Um, obviously, it also self-destructed now partially because the delay circuit got blown up by the creeper. But it looks like most of the bits and pieces are still intact and I should be able to use them to reassemble the machine. And it will not be a, a huge loss uh, in materials. Uh, it was only this one TNT blast here that didn't really destroy things. But yeah, that's unfortunate. I was hoping I could drill through here. But yeah, with those creepers around, it's definitely going to be an extra challenge. Uh, you can just hope we can make it past this overhang ca um, you know, area here and light it up um, or get out of there rather quick. But yeah, the machine works. <laughs> the creeper didn't like it. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a thing that is green and big and makes bigger boom than you. No reason to be jelly, you freaking creeper. Ah, oh, that set me back again. Uh, it's going to take another hour to rebuild that thing. Okay. But um, we're on a good track. This will be the way to success. This will make us rich. Nobody said getting rich is easy, but we will. Ah, resembling time, I guess. And yeah, with that said, I'd say we wrap up the episode. Poor bad, just burned for today. And yeah, next episode, we also need to start conceptualizing or thinking about our mini game idea uh, for the Turf War Decider. So if you guys have any ideas um, when you think is a good idea as a mini game maybe think about incorporating our sock lens i have an idea or two as well but uh, yeah looking forward to um, read what you guys have to say whoa another creeper up there man uh, it's just this is gonna be this is gonna be pain i might have to mine through on top in a straight line and try to catch caves and overhangs in there and preemptively light up a bit might be worth it um, and yeah, with this thing here, hopefully we can smartly reassemble it and I don't have to do too much. Um, definitely we will have to take apart the, t the front part here. I think with the back part that should be still intact and we can work with it. So I'd only have to rebuild half of the machine. Over there, by the way, is a slime chunk, which is very good because yeah, for the big machine we need a lot of slime. And while I was digging out here and doing stuff, um, always slime spawned and I could uh, farm up a bit more so maybe we can save a few diamonds um, 
um, because I think uh, we need a bit more investments to get the bigger sliming um, slime drill and I might have to take out a loan or so. Man, oh, this constant mob spawning is absolutely crazy. Yeah, they all spawn there above me in the dark place. There's even a witch there. Okay, I need to get up there, light this place up a little bit more and I'd say we wrap up the episode for today. Thanks everyone for watching. A uh, little bit of a downer in the end, machine blew up, but not our fault. We built it right and yeah, we'll find a way to dig out this 150 meters here and hopefully we'll find a way to run the big machine without huge problems. Um, when we run the big machine, I think I'm definitely gonna go ahead and mine forward uh, in a one wide in this um, you know in this direction and try to preemptively light up caves that could potentially be above us. You know, just throw a few torches in there to just decrease the chances of disaster again. All right, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. It was intense, a lot of stuff happening. Um, we got the tunnel ball up and running, and yeah, I'll fix it real quick. And I see you in the next episode. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. I rarely say this, but hey, do it. Do it now. And yeah, post some ideas about the minigames, right? Bye, guys.